Kamusta? This is Sir Eman, a public school science teacher. In this video, we will discuss about the chromosomes and genes. Specifically, these are the objectives of this video. Number one, for us to differentiate the terms traits, genes, chromosome, chromatin, nucleus, and DNA. And, dami, no? and second, describe the location of genes in chromosomes. Now, these topics are important for you to be able to answer the week four activities in our module and science lab. Okay? So, kung bago ka pa lang sa ating channel na ito, make sure na basahin mo muna yung mga guidelines na nasa iba ba sa ating comment section. Okay? Okay na. Let's proceed. I want you to take a look at this picture on the screen. So, I want you to focus on the appearance or the characteristics of those that are included here. Anong masasabi niyo? Let's say, ba, kasama ako dyan. Kasama ka, kasama yung mga kasama mo sa bahay, kasama yung mga klase mo dati. How are you going to describe the characteristics of the persons here? Or the people? Okay? Now, you will probably say na ang itsura ng mga tao ay magkakaiba. Tama? Ano? Iba ang itsura ko sa'yo, iba ang itsura mo kahit sa mga kasama mo sa bahay, at syempre sa mga kaklase mo na At dito sa mga tao na nandito. Walang mga tao, merong matangkad, merong maliit. Ano, merong matangos ang ilong, merong pango, merong ang kulay ay maputi, may maitim, merong kayo manggi, merong ang buhok ay tuwid, meron naman na ang buhok ay uh, kulot. Ano, so iba't iba talaga. Okay. Now, question is, how do we refer to these characteristics that each person, individual person has? Ano ba tawag natin doon sa mga katangi na yun? Sige nga. Kaya ko meron kong idea. Pwede mong sabihin na yung sagot o isulat yan sa iyong papel. Okay. Now, if you've answered na actually starts with letter T, traits, then you are actually correct. Okay? So, traits are observable or inherited characteristics of a person. Ano yung mga katangian na pwede nakikita natin o mga katangian na namana ng isa. Ano na taglay-taglay na. Next question would be, what determines a person's traits? Ano ba ang nagsasabi kung ano yung magiging katangian, characteristics ng isang tao? Meron ka bang idea? Saan ito nakabase? Now, if you have an idea, you can say it out loud at pwede mo yung sulat sa iyong papel. Okay? Now, if you have answered, so dito actually ay isang word lang, if you have answered genes, then you're actually correct. Now, dito actually nakabase kung ano yung mga katangian na tataglayin ng isa. Pero sir, ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng genes? So let's define what a gene is, what uh, genes are. Okay? So genes are actually the functional units of heredity. Basic unit of heredity which is found in chromosomes. Chromosomes which are found in the nucleus of a cell. Okay? So basic unit daw siya ng heredity. Pag sinabing heredity, ito yung pagpapasa ng traits or characteristics ng magulang papunta sa kanyang mga mga supling of mga offspring mga alam. Matatagpuan sa chromosome, yung chromosome matatagpuan sa nucleus ng isang cell. Medyo mahirap pang itindihan, ano? So, balikan natin yung concept ng cell, isa-isahin natin. Okay? So, I want you to take a look at this picture. You can see here, uh, we human beings are made up of cells. That's one uh, requirement for all living things. All living things are made up of cells. In our case, we are multicellular. We are made up of billions of cells. Brain cells, liver cells, muscle cells, blood cells, intestinal cells, and many other types of cells. Okay? Now, in terms of cells, these cells are still made up of much smaller structures. Ano nga yung mga much smaller structures na yan? Anong tawag dyan? Na bumubuo sa isang cell? These are actually what we refer to as the organelles. Now, kanina sa definition ng genes, ano yung organelle na nabanggit doon? Search with letter N. Okay? Kung uh, tandaan nyo pa, nabanggit doon yung nucleus. Ano, nanonood doon yung genes. Okay. Tandaan nyo pa kung anong purpose ng nucleus. In our lesson in grade 7, we have learned that nucleus acts as the brain of the cell. It's the control center because it controls and regulates the activities inside the cell. And, another important thing, it actually contains the hereditary material. Yung information that tells us 
uh, kung ano ba yung magiging mga characteristics natin, kulay ng buhok, kulay ng, ng ating mata, skin tone, uh, blood type, at maraming pang iba, that's in the hereditary material na nasa loob ng ating nucleus. Okay? So, let's proceed. Ngayon, tingnan natin kung na-identify nyo pa kung nasan dyan ang nucleus. So, definitely, as you can see in the label, itong bilog na medyo nasa gitna, that's actually the nucleus. Inside of that would be the genes. Now, pumasok tayo ngayon sa loob ng nucleus. So, this is a representation of the nucleus. You have the endoplasmic reticulum on the side. Okay? Now, what is inside of the nucleus? Inside the nucleus are thread-like structures we call the chromosomes, which contains the genetic material. Okay? So, actually, merong kapatid o isa pang ta uh, tawag na related sa chromosomes. Ano? So, that's chromatin. Kasi may sa exam, tala sir, wala naman yung chromosome, chromatin ang nandun. So, basically, Itong dalawa na ito, they're both made up of uh, DNA. Mamaya, we'll discuss on yung DNA na yan. Pero ang pinagkaiba lang, pag yung thread-like structure ay ganito na hiwa-hiwalay, that is your chromatin. Pero once yung thread-like structure na yan ay mag-compress uh, at mag-form ng ganitong structure, by that time, you already call it a chromosome. Kaya lang siya nagiging ganun kapag ang isang cell ay nagpe-prepare na for cell division. Diba? May mga cells tayo na namamatay. Uh, tayo ay nag-grow in height. So, syempre, kailangan na itong mga cells na ito ay magparami, mag-divide. Okay? So, preparation for that, nag-compress siya at nag-form ng ganito na structure. Ang tawag natin ay chromosome. For chromatin, unraveled condensed structure of DNA, for chromosome, highly condensed structure of DNA. Okay? Now, if we're going to take a look at the picture closely, we will see the DNA that is mentioned here. Ano? Itong double-stranded na structure na ito. So, pag-usapan natin, ano ba itong DNA na ito? So, when we speak of the DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, D, deoxyribo, and then your N, nucleic, or nucleic, and then A, acid. It actually is a long molecule that contains our unique genetic code. Okay? It is the hereditary material in humans and almost all other living things. So, ito na mismo yung genetic code natin. Ano? Nagpapangyari na maging iba tayo sa iba pa ng mga living thing. Ano? That's unique from person to person. Okay? So, you see here, that's made up of different elements. So, para siyang kumbaga sa isang cookbook, siya yung recipe ng pag, pagluluto halimbawa ng adobo. Ano? Kasi adobo, iba yun sa ibang ulam. So, nandun sa recipe yung ingredients at kung paano ba gagawin yung adobo. So, sa atin, sa DNA na to, nandito yung mga recipe, ito yung code that makes us who we are. Okay? That's very long, napakahaba niyan. Imagine kung gano'ng kaliit yung cell, di ba? Microscopic. Uh, nucleus, much smaller. Nasa loob ng nucleus yung chromosome at kapag ating you look more closely, so, mas maliit pa, yun yung DNA. Kapag atin actually lang nilatag, about 3 meters ang haba. So, imagine kung gaano kahaba yung code na taglay-taglay ng ating cell. Okay? O, napag-usapan na natin. We started with cell, your nucleus, inside the nucleus, you have your chromatin or chromosome, and then this chromosome is made up of DNA. Abay, sir, nasa na yung genes? Nawala na. So, ano nga ba yung genes? Nasa ba yung genes dyan? Okay? We made mention a while ago that genes pertain to the functional unit of heredity which is found in chromosomes which are in the nucleus of a cell. Kung usapan natin si chromosome, yan, nasa na yung genes? So sabi dyan, gene or genes pertain to the long segment of the chromosome or DNA that codes for a certain trait. So section pala siya or segment ng chromosome or DNA. So bawa yung mga bands na yan, na may kahon, pati yung nasa baba, pati ito, yun yung tinutukay natin na gene. Section of the chromosome or section of a DNA. Kasi pag ating itong zinom in, makikita mo yung DNA na yan na nagtataglay ng code. Segment ng chromosome na nagko-control ng certain trait. Kasi nandyan yung code for protein at yung protein na yun yung kailangan para ma-express yung trait na yun. Halimbawa, sa kulay ng buhok, kulay ng mata, sa blood type, at sa iba pang mga characteristics na meron tayo. Okay? So, that is 
how, why this is very important and that's why it is considered to be the functional unit of heredity. So in DNA, napakahaba yan, di ba sabi natin kanina, about uh, 3 meters, di ba? Pero yung specific na section na yan ng uh, DNA, yung gene na tinatawag, nandun yung code para sa mga specific na mga trait na meron tayo na naipapasa na magulang sa atin. Okay? So nakuha ba? Hopefully nakuha ang pagkakaiba-iba niya. So you have the cell, we're all made up of uh, millions or billions of cells. Inside the cell, you have the nucleus, papasok tayo doon, nandun yung uh, thread-like structure, chromatin kapag ka hiwa-hiwalay, pag uh, nag-compress na, nag-form na ganito structure, chromosome. Certain section or segment ng ating chromosome, yun yung gene. Pag atin niyang zoom in, that's actually made up of DNA. So, halimbawa, yung certain section na yan, that is your gene. May specific na trait siya na kinokontrol. Okay? Let's have some more information about chromosomes and genes. Okay, humans actually have 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes. Ano, kung uh, yung mga cro yung, yung chromatin na yan, yung thread-like structure ay mag-compress, makaka-form siya ng 46 na ganito. 46 yan, kung bibilangin natin, kasi bawat isang ganito, isang chromosome na yon. Okay? So, kung dalawa-dalawa naman, ang bilang mo, meron siyang 23. Meron tayong 23 pairs of chromosome. Now, these chromosomes come in pairs, kaya naman kita nyo dito, at ang tawag dyan sa mga magkakapair na yan ay homologous chromosomes. Bakit ganon? Kasi 23 dyan ay nanggaling kay tatay, 23 nanggaling kay nanay. Take note, itong chromosome na to, siya nagtataglay ng genetic information. Nasa kanya yung genes, binubuo siya ng DNA. Nagsasabi ko ang itsura natin. So, kaya tayo ay mix ng characteristics ng nanay at tatay. Ano, yung, yung tangkad nakuha kay tatay, yung kulay nakuha kay nanay, kasi nga, yung ating chromosomes ay tigalhati sa kanila. Ano, 23 kay nanay, 23 kay tatay, yun yung bubuo sa 46, or 23 pairs. Okay? So, paano nga sabi na yung mga chromosomes na yun ang magkakapair? Kasi daw, itong homologous chromosomes na to, one, they have similar structure and shape. Okay? Magkalapit na structure and shape. And more importantly, they have genes, the same genes, that code for proteins that ex expresses the same uh, trait. So, magkapareho sila ng klase ng, ng gene na nandun at maging yung arrangement. Ano? So, halimbawa, nandito yung gene na nagokontrol ng protein na kailangan sa hair color, kailangan sa tangkad, kailangan sa blood type. Halimbawa lang yan, ano? Yung, yung gene na ito, ganun din yung present na, I mean, itong chromosome na ito, ganun din yung genes na nasa kanya. Ano, pati yung arrangement. Kaya sila yung homologous pair na tinatawag. Okay? Now, syempre, since uh, chromosomes come in pair, genes also come in pairs. Kasi meron ka dun sa tatay na chromosome, meron kang galing sa nanay na chromosome. At alam natin, isa lang dyan ang pinapadala ng mga magulang. So, bawat isa sa atin, Merong galing kay nanay, merong galing kay tatay. Pero magulang natin, isa lang doon ang ipapadala sa atin. Isa lang makukuha natin. Okay? Pero we've got to remember that despite the fact na uh, yung mga genes na yan code for a protein na kailangan sa pag-express ng uh, isang klase ng trait, pwede magkaiba pa rin yung form ng gene na present dyan. Kasi bawa, uh, itong protein na nandyan, yung gene na nandyan na nagko-code sa certain na protein, uh, na, let's say for instance para sa buhok, Si, si tatay, ang naipasa niya ay yung kulot ng buhok, yung gene niya para doon, kay nanay naman ay tuwid. So, magkaiba yung form na nandyan. Pareho itong genes na to na para sa buhok, halimbawa, pero itong isa, ang daladala niya ay kulot, itong isa, daladala niya ay tuwid na buhok. So, ang tawag natin sa different forms or alternative versions of the same gene, yun yung tinatawag natin na allele. Okay? They are located on the same part of the chromosome. So, pwede magkaiba, pwede rin naman na magkapareho. Okay? Pero yung different forms, ang tawag natin dun ay alin. Nakuha ba? So, hopefully, nakuha. Ano? Mag-summarize tayo ng kaunti itong mga na-discuss na natin. So, first, you have traits. These are obs observable inherited characteristics uh, determined by the genes. Okay? Yung mga hair color, uh, blood type, uh, maraming pang iba ang mga characteristics. Genes, Segment, ano, part, section of the chromosome or DNA that codes for a specific trait. Okay? 
or codes for a protein that is needed to express a certain type. Okay? Chromosome, highly condensed structure of DNA inside the nucleus. So, yun yung compressed. Yung parang shape ay parang X. Ano? Chromatin, unraveled, condensed structure of DNA inside the nucleus. Yun yung hiwa-hiwalay pa, yung thread-like structure. You have the deoxyribonucleic acid or the DNA, the genetic code or hereditary material in humans and other organisms. Yung mismo yung code. Ano? Na napakahaba, sabi natin kanina. And then you have the alleles, different forms of the same gene which are located on the same part of the chromosome. So hopefully, nakuha yung pagkakalibayba dito kasi kailangan natin to para sa mga susunod natin na lesson. So, kung meron pang part na hindi na unawaan, ay pwede yung balikan sa ating video. Now, hopefully, nakatulong sa inyo ang video na ito. Uh, kung nagustuhan ang video, mag-iwan ng like. At kung di pa nakapag-subscribe, ay mag-subscribe. So, maraming salamat sa inyong oras and see you on the next one.